Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dabuki here once again, and it's time for a Maple Story video. I'm here on my Wild Hunter, hitting away at Monster Park PQ, and this is after the Rise Against update that just happened, and just kind of beefed up all the resistance classes, so I was wanting to play my Wild Hunter a little bit, and see kind of what has changed, and I'm really excited because before I couldn't play my Wild Hunter, um, I just, every time I try to get on my Wild Hunter, I would lag like crazy, it was really glitched, and every time I hopped on my Jaguar, it would lag super bad so I couldn't play I don't know if it was my computer or internet connection but I was really sad because well my wild hunter for you guys that know and have been watching my videos for a while is that Daboki is the reason why I made my YouTube channel so I am excited to play him again and hopefully I will get some more videos out for him um, but what I'm really excited about is the new skill that the rise against update has given the wild hunters is that you can actually have a party skill now uh, or an additional party skill it's the one that kind of you just roar and it boosts up all your party members attacks and that's really cool because I'm all for party skills and I think that really classes need more party skills just due to the fact that you need someone else in order to be in your party so that you don't have that skill you know so you can train with that skill so anyways um, I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about my childhood something that happened in middle school that I was I was pretty proud of actually and you guys notice the title of this video it's stealing and yes I have stolen something and I know a lot of you guys have stolen something out there also but it was really weird because you know okay I'm, I'm I was a pretty good kid back when I was younger I never stolen anything in my life before I never really did anything bad well if you guys watch my criminal stories I guess that not counting that but maybe I'll tell that later again sometime but you know stealing wise I never stole you know that was one thing that was just kind of on my mind I was like no that's not the right thing to do but for some reason in sixth grade middle school I just had an urge to steal something. Now, <laughs> what did I steal? Um, okay, so my school has these book fairs, and I know your guys' schools probably have it too. You know, these book fairs that are held in a school somewhere, and you just go ahead and buy these really overpriced books. Well, I went into this book fair, just kind of looking around. I was just by myself, no friends were with me, and I was looking down at this 101 joke book. It was really small, you know, like a, dic like a really small pocket dictionary size joke book. You just kind of carry around with you and just break ice when you need to um, but I I looked at it and I like I picked it up in my hands and I was like hmm you know what I'm a man and I just and I, that's exactly what I thought in my head and I took the book and I just walked out of the room you know I walked out of the room that they're selling things and I don't know what happened I just my mind just went blank and I just felt like I had to steal that for some odd reason and to this day I still have that joke book but anyways after I stole it and I kind of like looked down at it the jokes weren't even funny you know this book was super lame it was about six bucks and I was like well okay I guess that's it you know that's that's what stealing is all about and I'm kind of glad that I got that out of my system because you know I feel like if I kind of waited a while and I got into high school or something I was like you know what I never stolen anything before I just I need to steal something you know I might actually like steal something bigger like a car or a person I don't know what you kids steal these days but you know so I I was like okay well I got that out of my system I know what stealing feels like and I'm good you know that's not for me you know I'm not gonna be some thief Batman or whatever oh Batman doesn't steal well kind of okay anyways you know I'm not gonna be some sort of stealing thief and that's not my forte so I'm glad I got it out of my system and I'm glad I stole something small which was kind of weird because it's like my friend you know my friend went right when he got his license the first thing he did was he took a stop sign he didn't stop at a stop sign because he just wanted to get that out of his system like I need to get this out just so that okay I know what it feels like not to stop at a stop sign so now I can stop at every single stop sign <laughs> So, I don't know. But anyways, do you guys just have like a feeling like that? Like you just have to get out of your system. Like you guys have to try it and be like, okay, I did it and I'm done. You know, that wasn't for me. And I'm glad I did it when I was younger or sooner or than later because it could have been a lot worse later. So, you know, I, I don't know. I guess stealing, that was a really lame thing to steal. And even just talking about it and thinking about it is super lame. Um, but I hope you guys don't judge me. You guys are all saying, oh, Daboki's a wuss. Stealing a joke book from a school. Wow, how horrible can Daboki get? That, you know, that's like, that's dumb, you know, when Daboki actually steals something meaningful, like an elephant. Anyways, so have you guys stolen anything? Leave in the comment section below if you have. If you don't want to talk about it, that's okay. You can just say, Daboki, I've stolen something and my name is something. But I am curious and it's fun to hear some stories of stealing mischievous gnomes walking around 
with sticky fingers anyways all right guys thank you so much for watching this video thumbs up for more videos uh, wild hunter videos will be on their way this has been naboki and we'll be seeing you guys later